Reading Pioneers is proud to present The Boy Who Illustrated Happiness, written by Victor D.O. Santos, illustrated by Esther Miklos. Ben was often late for everything, not because he was slow to put on his clothes or his shoes, but because he never wanted to stop drawing. He drew everything he could, everywhere he could, and for as long as he could. Sometimes he even drew himself to sleep. Even when he brushed his teeth, Ben pretended the toothbrush was a paintbrush and that the toothpaste was paint. And after that, well, take a look at his bathroom mirror and you will see. Ben liked to show his feelings and emotions by drawing them. The happy ones and the sad ones, but he always preferred to have happy emotions and feelings. And he liked to create happy emotions and happy feelings in other people too. It's what made him happy. Every day during breakfast, Ben drew his plans for the day on his plate. Then he kissed his parents, waved goodbye to his pet fish, Jerry, and ran outside to wait for the school bus. On the way to the bus stop, he always smiled at everyone he met. Everyone smiled back, even those people who did not seem very friendly at first. Ben knew that the best way to receive a smile from someone was to smile at them first. On the school bus, Ben chatted with his friends and, of course, drew some more. When it was cold outside, he breathed on the window to make it all foggy. Then he used his finger to draw the most fantastic things. The other kids always tried to guess what he would draw next. His drawings made them happy. One day, Ben had an idea. What if other kids could help him make even more people happy? And what if all those kids could also become happier by doing that? With the help of his mom and dad, Ben created the Happiness Club. Together, they made hundreds of happy stickers, one for each new member who would join this special club. To become a member, all someone had to do was make one person already in the club happy. Then, each day after that, they had to choose a different person in the club to make happy. Tina, a little girl in Ben's class who loved his drawings, heard about the club. She joined by gifting Ben a beautiful origami shape she made for him out of colorful paper. Then, every day after that, she gifted an origami shape to a different person in the club. She paid attention to what each person liked and tried to make an origami of something that was special to that person. Lucas also joined the club shortly after by helping Tina carry her pile of heavy books one day after school. A few days later, when he passed by Ben's house on the way to the bus stop, Lucas opened a wide smile when he saw the following drawing and message. Lucas is one of the strongest boys in the world. Lucas was very good at singing. And after joining the Happiness Club, he sang a new song to a different person every day, which made each one of those people happy. Each member of the club had their own way to make others happy and to express their own happiness. Some even discovered that an easy way to feel better when they were sad was by making others happy. In the beginning, the Happiness Club had only 10 members. But as more and more people joined, it quickly grew in number. New members came from many different places. Not all members spoke the same language. 
but that was okay because they communicated through drawings, words, songs, origami, facial expressions, hand gestures, photographs, and many other ways that anyone could understand. Happiness was the official language of the club, and that was a powerful language everyone understood. Last year, the Happiness Club had more than a million members in over 15 countries. One day, when Ben came home from school, he found his mom and dad sitting on the couch, a little sad. Ben asked what had happened. His parents pointed to the aquarium, where Ben's pet fish, Jerry, lived. When Ben approached the aquarium, he could see Jerry on the surface, sleeping soundly on his side. Ben understood what had happened and went to his room, feeling sad and angry. He closed the door and drew for a long time. After a while, he found a box. Inside the box, he found a gorgeous drawing of a fish that looked exactly like Jerry. The fish was swimming in a gigantic blue aquarium surrounded by many other fish and cotton candy. That drawing made Ben a little happy. He knew exactly who had illustrated his happiness this time. He looked for his parents and then hugged the two newest members of the Happiness Club. As Ben grew older, he continued to draw. He continued to illustrate happiness and make more and more people happy. Each year, his drawings became more beautiful. People everywhere, in and outside the Happiness Club, said there was nothing Ben couldn't draw. Ben never forgot where his passion for drawing and his desire to make people happy came from. His childhood. As an adult, Ben became a very famous children's book illustrator and spent the rest of his life drawing amazing stories written by other people, always adding his own touch of happiness to each children's book he illustrated. If you are lucky enough, you may find a book illustrated by Ben the next time you go into a bookstore or read a children's book. All the books Ben illustrates have the following question on the very last page. What can you do today to make someone happy? P.S. Oh, one last thing Ben asked me to tell you. You must read the entire book before checking the last page. That's something that would make Ben happy. Thank you, Pioneers, for reading along with us to the story, The Boy Who Illustrated Happiness. Victor Dio Santos gave me permission to read this book, and I'm so glad that he did, because the Happiness Club is a real thing that needs to be spread around the world. And hopefully, by reading this book, you can also share happiness to others. This book was recently published, and I'm sure that to help Victor be happy, you should check out his website, which is provided in the link down below, as well as check out his social media links through Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Finally, I hope you visit your public library and request this book so the message can be spread to as many people as possible. That way, it will be free for each person if the library can acquire it. The info is available in the description below. Spreading happiness has no negative consequences. Just smiling at someone could be enough to make someone's day. So I want to personally thank Manvin Gil, who has commented on almost every video that I've uploaded this year, maybe even every video. I really appreciate the comments and I love the fact that you are helping support this channel. So I want you to comment down below 
something that is kind to others so then when they read your comment, they may spread that kindness as well. If you enjoyed the video, please click that thumbs up button to help support the channel, subscribe if you haven't already, and click that notification bell to help the YouTube algorithm allow for this video to be seen on multiple YouTube accounts. If you would like to get your book read on this channel, send me an email, contact at readingpioneers.com. And while you all are waiting for the next upload, over here on the left is a list of other rising authors similar to Victor with very meaningful stories. And over here on the right is a short story that I'm working on called Shark Fin Boy. This is it for today's video, so thanks again everyone for reading along with us today. And as always, I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you, and bye bye